Broadway homeless on this 8th anniversary. Um, the number 8, by the way, just so you know, in my faith, means to realize. And this is a great time to realize that we are here with a purpose. And what's the purpose? The realization we use is the written and spoken word. And it all came spontaneously to my mind one night about sunrises and what promises there are with sunrises with us. And so with that, I present the poem entitled, As the Sun Rises. And by the way, also, uh, this poem was also composed by my mother, Linda Grace, who is recuperating from spinal surgery as well. So please, and it's the greatest way to fully recover. One morning, as I awakened from my long eternal sleep, from the dark abyss of the nights of sorrow, I went to my window and lo, I witnessed the sun rising. As the sun rose, I saw the grains of freedom and one and whole partisan with the warm, fresh hold of beauty. The sun beating down upon me, coating my tears and sweat of heartache and transforming them into triumph and joy. As the sun rose, I felt a strong breeze of hope that cooled my fire of rage from within my heart and from within my body, cooling the scorched pains and injustices that were done. As the sun rose, as the sun rose, as the sun rose, I saw before my eyes a vast ocean, an ocean that shall move the youth and the future forward towards harmony, of harmony, pride, determination, and justice again. A new change in our thinking, a new change in our doing, and a new change in communicating as the sun rose. So there will never, ever be a sunset of injustice, only a sunset of promise and a sunrise of tomorrow. As the sun rose, I awakened to the sound of the universe that said, Good morning, world, here we are. Our sorrows are never ending, yet we can move ahead towards brighter days and better tomorrows, for we can see that as the sun rises.